It's Veterans Day, November 11th, 2018. This is a day where we honor and remember all the men and women who have served in the U.S. Armed Forces. This year marks the centennial of the end of World War I, and the U.S. Army is the featured service branch. Veterans Day 2018, we're with the Heart of Oaks. Tell us, tell us about this uh, group. So this was Alexander Hamilton's company when he was a student at King's College. So this is the beginning of his military career. And what we do is we have a militia company. We also have a fife and drum corps. It's about half of it today. And we're you know, proud to you know, honor the veterans by playing in the parade today. And Alexander Hamilton is a very important man in history. Would you like to, who wants to talk about Alexander Hamilton? Okay, Alexander Hamilton, um, he started off in the Hearts of Oak, and then he became a captain of artillery. He became an aide-de-camp for George Washington. And then he became uh, Secretary of the Treasury and was tragically killed in a duel in 1804 by Aaron Burr. But he's one of the founders of the country and certainly founder of um, our financial system and help make America the way it is today. So, Well, thank you to Veterans Day. Hey, thank a veteran today. We're with Lorraine Bell, and this is the Daughters of the American Revolution. Could you tell us about this organization? Well, our organization is a lineage society for women who are 18 years of age and older who are descended from American patriots. So that could, there could be um, American patriots who fought in the revolution or who assisted the revolution in some way. So there are women patriots, there are um, the regular patriots that everybody thinks about who fought in the American Revolution. There are also a number of different other uh, patriots that we actually um, descend from. And our mission is to support communities through three different uh, pillars, which is education, historical preservation, and patriotism. And today we're here to support um, the veterans of all of our wars and those who fought to secure freedom for the United States and elsewhere. And thank a veteran today. Thank you very much. We always thank our veterans. We have a lot of, uh, we do a lot of work with veterans. So um, we send packages overseas to troops that are actually deployed. We also work with VA hospitals. We go in and volunteer on a regular basis. We try to support um, troops in other ways. We, um, we particularly like to support some of the current women, female um, uh, patriots right now who are deployed. We also, uh, we also like to serve, we, we come to ceremonies like this, we lay wreaths around the country to honor veterans, and we also mark, veteran, we mark veterans' graves. So oh, that's beautiful. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> they, I know. I know. It's so and attend, important and to our veterans. And we, attend, and we attend honor flights whenever we can. So it's something that we we really believe very strongly in. And we're today we've got a number of different women from different chapters in in New York City. Um, so I'm very proud of the number of people who've showed up to support um, Veterans Day. And we actually partner with the United War Veterans Council. They're one of our partners in the city, so we support them and their other initiatives throughout the year. Um, and we tend to also support veterans alliances, and uh, we actually uh, have fundraisers for vets. We give money to the VFW and um, other organizations. So we're very tidally, tidally connected to um, American patriots of all, of all, from all ages. Yes. With us, Wilhelmina Kelly, and uh, you have a new position with this organization. Would you elaborate? Yes. Uh, I was just elected to be uh, the regent, which is like the president or the head of the uh, of the New York Daughters of the American Revolution. Uh, we're part of um, the uh, an international. Uh, organization, society, that is uh, dedicated to the remembrance of the patriots who served in the Revolutionary War. Uh, if you have an ancestor, you can trace back to service, a patriot, not a loyalist, uh, then we would welcome your membership in the society. And, and what would you like now to, uh, your mission or to bring to this organization? The mission is to uh, remember 
the sacrifices, the dedication, the uh, commitment that our ancestors had to uh, freedom and to the formation of our country, which they had no idea uh, it would be uh, as uh, significant an example of a democracy around the world. Well, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And happy Veterans Day. Thank a veteran today. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, everybody knows that this is the 100th anniversary of the end of World War I. Everybody knows it started in Europe, at the European War, in 1914. And we didn't get into it till 1917. And by 1915 in May, the Lusitania, a British civilian passenger ship, was torpedoed by the German submarines. And a lot of innocent women and men and children civilians went down off the coast of Ireland. Some of them were Americans. We argue the immorality of this, protested. Germans said, well, we warn you. And we'll sympathize with Britain, France, Belgium, and its allies following the next couple of years. But what really was the last straw that got us into World War I? What made us declare war on them? Well, someone from the German embassy by the name of Zimmerman we intercepted a note that was going to go to the embassy of Mexico. And the deal was that the German imperial government, the Kaiser, was offering them to aid them militarily to invade the United States and get some lands back that they lost about 75 years earlier in the Mexican War. And of course, the Mexican government said, we want no part of this. But it was definitely a plot militarily against the United States of America. Woodrow Wilson went to Congress and asked for a formal declaration of war, and it was unanimously granted. And we trained our troops for a couple of months, and we went over to France in the later part of 1917. We achieved several big key victories with our allies, the British and the French. And we finally forced the Germans and their allies to agree to a ceasefire armistice and that was slated for 11 a.m. November 11th, 1918. And that was actually signed a few hours earlier at Coupillon, about 50 miles north by northeast of Paris in a railroad car. A few hours later at 11 a.m. November the 11th, 1918, the guns went silent and all was quiet on the Western Front. President Woodrow Wilson said, quote, the world must be kept safe for democracy, unquote. And it's been said many times, freedom and democracy does not come cheap. But the guns didn't stay silent very long. But 20 years later, World War II. A few years later after that, Korea. And President Eisenhower said, we shouldn't be calling this Armistice Day, it should be called Veterans Day. There's always a war protecting our rights to be free. Our rights and our allies in the free world. And we had the Vietnam War, the Iraqi War, the first Iraqi War, then the second Iraqi War, after the World Trade Center of September the 11th, 2001. We were reminded again, freedom doesn't come cheap. And we were in Afghanistan. And we're fighting today in the global war on terror, domestically and abroad. So, you see a veteran today, say thank you, and God bless America. This is Billy Hart, United States Naval Vietnam veteran. God bless America. With us, Dennis Correa. That's right. Vietnam War? Yes, 1967 68. I was about 20 miles north of Saigon in a town uh, called Lai Kei, a clamp. Uh, Rocket City, they called it, because we got bombed uh, 50 days in a row at the Tet Offensive. Oh. And uh, 
From there on in, I, I, I joined the uh, Long Range Reconnaissance Patrols to get out of the infantry. And I was uh, out in the jungle with six to eight man teams. Well, you're very well decorated. Could you talk about that? Or? Well, I didn't try. I didn't try and get any medals. I just wanted to come home back to the Bronx with my friends. And uh, whatever I got, I got. You know, I couldn't help the Purple Heart. I mean, you know, I didn't duck fast enough, I guess. But other than that, uh, the other one, everybody got some of them there. And, and I got one extra one there, the two extra ones, the Bronze Star and the Purple Heart. Well, thank you for your service. And, and what does Veterans I, Day I mean ask, to you? Oh, I, I can't wait. I wait for this all year to see all the friends and everything and, and, and the memories and talk about the, the old times. I had my best friend, Richard Waldhouse, who was captured in Vietnam, uh, 1968. Didn't see him anymore. Three years after that, I came, I was coming down the city, I opened the newspaper and it had headlines, mystery prisoner comes home. He came home from the, uh, from the prison camp. Oh, that is beautiful. That's a little story. I bet you everybody gave up hope, sort of. Yeah, I tried to get in touch with him, but in 1970s, you couldn't get in touch with people. The letters kept coming back. And then uh, eventually, 30 years later, I ran into his family. And they said he, he, uh, he never adjusted. That's all he said. He's not with us no more. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And that was it. So it's a little sad in the end, but he was a medic. He was a good guy. Richard Waldhouse. Yep. Well, thank okay. you for your You're service. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank a veteran today. With us, Dave Dana. And what does Veterans Day mean to you? It means remembering all those soldiers and friends who passed away fighting to keep our country strong and safe. And I look forward every year to coming and marching in this parade, especially in memory of my uncle, who was in the Battle of Okinawa during World War II on the aircraft carrier Bennington. And he, I saw pictures he took on deck as the kamikaze planes from the Japanese were coming in and blowing up. And it was unbelievable. So in honor of my uncle, I look forward to this parade even more. And what, uh, you were in the Vietnam War? Yes, I what was. What branch of service? I was in the Navy and uh, I was involved in the Cuban Missile Crisis. My squadron, we flushed a Russian submarine from the Pacific Ocean. It was carrying nuclear missiles. The following day, President Kennedy met with the Cubans and they agreed to send back all the missiles that Russia had sent aimed at America. And so that was the end of the Cuban Missile Crisis in October of 1962. And that was my squadron helped end this crisis. Well, thank you. Thank you for your service and welcome home. Well, I'm thank glad you. you're here and with us. And the Vietnam Veterans of America Chapter 126 is fantastic. And we're Manhattan's number one chapter. Thank you very much. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you. And I'll give you a kiss. Oh, okay. best kiss thank of the day. You. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Crystal. Hey, hey, right here, brother. All right, airborne. Where the airborne at? All right, guys. Especially you. What does Veterans Day mean to you? I, it means quite a lot to see everybody come out and thank us, because especially as Vietnam veterans, we lost a lot of that when we came home. Nobody thanked us. But I'm glad that now America's woken up and treating the newcomers and taking care of the younger vets. And it, it just means a lot to see people out here thanking us and appreciating it. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Appreciate it. The 
white stripes and white stars and the perilous Who are these gentlemen here? This is my grandfather, uh, George, George from World War II, my dad from Vietnam, and my brother and myself uh, both, both served during the Gulf War era. So the whole family served. Yes, the whole family, yeah. Well, thank you for your service. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Hey, let me ask you, what does Veterans Day mean to you? Oh, it means a lot. Uh, my, my ancestry, oh, fought wars and stuff like that throughout the thing and you know to look up to what they did and then when I joined it, it was a patriotic thing to do um, so I remember going with my father uh, to a Veterans Day parade in Flushing Queens uh, and just admiring the soldiers march, marching through and stuff it was always in my blood so um, Veterans Day means a lot to me. It means, uh, you know, I, I lost people over there. You know, it, it, it it's just, uh, I can't, it's hard to explain. It's just the right thing to do, to, you know, to give back to the country, um, you know, or to, what, what, what's the word for it, to uh, memorialize or celebrate their existence or whatever you want to call it. Is rewarding. It is very rewarding to me. It means a lot. Uh, and to be with this group here, tremendous, tremendous uh, feeling. You know, comrade. You know, we're all comrades. And uh, what can I say? I don't know. It's one of our, my biggest holidays. <laughs> it means giving thanks to uh, the sacrifices. Uh, Keep us all free. That's that's what it means. To give thanks, and whoever runs into a veteran, say thank you. That's what that's what I appreciate about veterans. Say this is what the Vietnam veterans finally get thanks. Thank you.
you. Thank you. With us, Fred Gazer. Fred, could you tell us uh, what war you were in and also uh, what Veterans Day means to you? Uh, I was in Vietnam from 1968 to 1970 and Staff Sergeant United States Air Force. Veterans Day is a very, very important day. It's a chance that I can march with my comrades, uh, veterans from all wars. This is so, so moving to see so many veterans and so many people together uh, honoring the veterans. As we all know, freedom is not free. Unfortunately, the cost of freedom is very high, and that cost is buried in cemeteries throughout the world. Veterans Day is a very, very important day, and I'm very glad to see that all the people are out here that are wishing our veterans of yesterday, today, and our future veterans of tomorrow, because they are the ones that protect us and stand on the ramparts of freedom throughout the world. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything, and we appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank a veteran today. Thank you for your service. With us, Dave Woodrow, Chapter 126, Vietnam Veteran. Dave, uh, first of all, uh, what uh, a s a branch of the service were you in? Uh, Navy. And, and what years? Uh, 63 to 66. And tell me what Veterans Day means to you. Oh, it's a chance to not only remember, the sacrifices everybody made, but it's also time to celebrate. Not only the people who survived, but the people who support us, a country who's grateful. Uh, at this point in time, looking at all the people along the, uh, the route, you see nothing but love and support. It's, it's a wonderful feeling of camar camaraderie. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you. With us, Rocco Saragusa. Okay, and, and what war were you in? Vietnam War. And, and what years did you serve and what 68 brand? 68 through 70 with the 125th out of Benoit. My kneecap got blown off over there, so I, I wobble a little bit. But I was 16 years old when I went in there. And I was with the 125th, and that was out of Benoit. And this is my daughter. Oh, I was married you must to be proud a Thai. Of I, must be th I must be, I was married to a Thai woman, so she's Thai Alien. <laughs> I'm 66 and she's 13. And what does Veterans Day mean to you? Well, I have a line in my second novel, and she's looking up at the stars, and I attach a memory to all of my buddies I lost over there, and the brighter they shine, the more I think of what their lives could have been. So it's everything. It's paying respect to them and all of these guys that I served with, and it just brings me back, and we weren't welcomed home when we came back. Now we're being welcomed home. So this is a recertification of everything we did and all we paid for. Well, welcome home. Well, thank you, and to say bellissima. You're beautiful. Thank you. With us, Gabe Stefania. And what wars were you in, um, Gabe? I was in Vietnam War, 4th Infantry Division, 1968, 1969 and been doing this parade for many years and it continues to get better. Uh, thank you guys for all your support, for always coming out and being there for us. I'm really surprised on a Sunday to see how many people were here. It's really great to finally get recognition for coming home. Uh, thank you Crystal for always supporting us and always being there for us. Uh, it was another great day, even the weather cooperated. <laughs> so. And what does Veterans Day mean to you? Uh, well, this particular Veterans Day is the actual the hundredth anniversary of the end of World War One. So, the armistice to end World War One was signed on November 11th at 11:11 a.m. a hundred years ago today. Uh, next year will be the hundredth anniversary of the parade. Uh, what does Veterans Day mean to me? Uh, it, it, it means a lot to me because we're finally getting recognized. You know, as Vietnam veterans, we were never really. Uh, welcomed home. We were never um, got the recognition and we finally did. Uh, it's just overwhelming support that we're getting. Here's my little granddaughter, <laughs> Juliana. Come Juliana, here. Juliana, come here. Come here. We're going to put you on TV. I guess you're happy. Say happy veterans. Thank a veteran today. Happy Z Veterans Day. You're going to thank a veteran? Thank you. Which veteran are you going to thank? Your grandpa? 
Thank you, Grandpa, for, um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> for, for serving. For service. Thank you. You're getting heavy. Thank you. You're getting so big. That's my little girl. She's six years old. <laughs> and she rode on the float with us today. And she had a wonderful time, right, Jules? You had a good time? Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you. And I'm Crystal Hart reporting from the 2018 Veterans Day Parade. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to thank a veteran today.